Co-integration is a fancy term, but most of you have heard of correlation, right? If you have studied basic statistics, you will no doubt have heard of correlation. Well, they are different concepts, they are not the same. Correlation is typically concerned about the short-term return of two stocks and whether they are in the same direction. The short-term return could be minutes, hours, days, weeks, or even months. But nevertheless, it's concerned about returns over some period. But co-integration is not much about return. They are not interested in whether Coca-Cola and Pepsi go up at the same time. They're not interested in whether Google and Apple go up over the same period. What they are concerned with is whether the two price series divert over the long term, not one day, not one month, but over a long time period, whether they, the two price series tend to convert or divert or remain co-integrated. If they divert, then it's not going to be co-integrated. For example, Coca-Cola and Pepsi have a fairly high significant daily returns correlation coefficient of 0.48. It is statistically significant. They move up and down at the same time, half the time, very, very significant. But interestingly, they don't co-integrate. Over a long period, they their spread, what's, what we call the spread, you know, which is essentially the portfolio of long one share of Coca-Cola and short 1.01 shares of Pepsi, that's, that's its portfolio, or sometimes sometimes people call it the spread. Uh, this net market value of the portfolio is what people refer to as the spread, by the way. And this spread doesn't seem mean reverting at all. If you look at it, 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 it for a long period of time, for eight years, it just keeps going down. So despite the fact that the Coca-Cola and Pepsi move up and down half the time during the, each day, they are not co-integrated. If you form this portfolio of a uh, long short portfolio, the spread is not stationary. You cannot trade it in a mean referring strategy. Okay, so the two concepts are different. So even it's even clearer if we illustrate it with two hypothetical time price series. So stock A is the one on top with a blue line, and stock B is the one at the bottom with the red line. These are the daily prices. And you can see that I've constructed these two stocks so that they are co correlated. When stock A goes up, stock B goes up. When stock A goes down, stock B goes down. They are quite, their returns are very correlated. Okay, but now here is a example of two co-integrated stocks that are not correlated, A and C. So the stock A uh, is again the, uh, the one in the blue line, <clears throat> but the stock C is the one in the green line. You can see that when stock goes, uh, stock A goes down, stock A may go up. When stock C goes down, stock A may, may go up. So they are not correlated, maybe anti-correlated. But sometimes when stock C doesn't move, stock A still go up and down. You know, sometimes they go in the same direction. So they are not fully anti-correlated either because here when stock C is going down, stock A is also going down. And so here when stock C is going up, so A is also going up. So overall, you can see that they don't have any significant correlation of returns. They sometimes go in the same direction, sometimes go in the opposite direction, sometimes one doesn't move and the other moves. However, if you look at the spread of these two stock, these two hypothetical stock, you know, which is this stock C minus stock A, you'll find that this spread is very much mean reverting. It start off positive, become very positive, becomes less positive again, it cross, it become negative, go to zero, become very negative, go up and back to zero, and then become small, small positive again. So if you can plot the spread of A and C, you will find that this spread is very, very mean reverting. So these two time series are very much co-integrated because they can be made to form a stationary portfolio, but they are not at all correlated because they can move in very different direction from day to day. And so to recap, co-integration is a very long-term behavior. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's looking at the long-term behavior of the prices and correlation is looking at the short-term behavior of the returns. Co-integration is about price, correlation is about return.